there is a view that um, we are the center of argument debate because we are a democracy and China is relatively inert. And one clear indication that a tradition has been lost in China is a sense of law, a sense of order, a sense of governance. Chinese never ever ask who they are because they know exactly who they are. subject matter is appropriate, China in transition. I would say that in all of my 45 years of working with China, every morning I've woken up and thought about China, I thought that China is in transition. But there is a lot of prediction about the collapse of China. Probably I was thinking that this may be the reason why the Chinese economy has Because the Chinese leaders always think about this question, how to avoid the coming collapse of China. So, so they do everything to avoid that. If you live in Beijing, you know it's difficult, right? So the good life is in, uh, in London, visiting the British Museum, enjoy the conversation, polite conversation here. The bad life is to suffer from pollution and to know most of your students not interested in culture, but also only interested. As we traveled around the country and talked to people, it became evident that China really was very different than what it appeared. The leadership needs to learn how to accumulate social capital, not just economic capital. How to enhance cultural competence, not just technical competence, or not just cognitive intelligence, but also ethical intelligence or emotional intelligence. Not just material conditions, but spiritual values. How, what are the instruments and actual steps to be taken toward that direction? If these things are gradually to be adopted, and you find that people will find actually the Chinese and Americans, they are so much more similar, then people think that they are different. So uh, I thought that my perception of uh, the trajectory of China was very different from the dominant global narrative. This Chinese political system, in one form or another, has existed for the last 35 years while we've seen China's economy grow from an economy the size of the Netherlands to be an economy which is second only to the United States. Now, there's something within the system which has allowed that to happen so far. When do you get to the breaking point? I thought to myself, look, China is absolutely alive with argument, discussion and conflict over the way forward. And I come back here with all the trappings of democracy and we are stuck. You don't change the person's mind by economic inducement. You don't change the mind of a person by political pressure or military confrontation. You understand that the uh, Roman Empire collapsed and uh, Christianity survived. I think even English can make it Jesus uh, speak English. That's why I think that the Chinese people are very strong.